Hey guys what's up I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and in this After Effects tutorial we will learn how to create this dynamic glass transition inside of After Effects without using any plugins now this is a very dynamic transition so you can use it in number of different ways which we will explore in the video so without any further ado let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. all right so here we are in after effects let's start by creating a new composition i'll go with 2560 by 1440 that is 2k you can of course go with 1080p as well and 4k as well duration i'll set this to around two seconds and let's call this transition now let's go right here in the timeline right click create a new adjustment layer and then i'll go to one second and press ctrl shift d to split the layer Select the first layer, go into effects and presets and let's add a transform effect. Now to see what we are doing here, let's add an image. So I'll add my first image right here. Let's crop that by holding alt and right square bracket. And then let's add a second image, crop that by holding alt and left square bracket. And we can of course change the color of these two adjustment layers so we can see it more properly. So let's set this to red. So here we have our two images that we want to use images are quite big so we can scale them down a little bit like maybe so and this one also something like that all right now let's select our first adjustment layer go into effects and presets and the transform effect that we just added so i'll go at the very start and create a keyframe on the position let's go to right over here at around one seconds and drag this out like so press u so we can see the keyframes and let's move this keyframe at the very end of the layer and now we have something like this now to fix this edge what i'll do is i'll add an effect called motion tile add on to this layer and make sure to place it on the top of the transform effect let's Turn on mirrored edges and let's increase the output width like so. So let's set this to around 300 and this one at around 300 as well. So now we have something like this. Okay, looking fine. Now let's select the keyframes. You can press F9 to ease ease them or go into keyframe assistant and easy ease. Then go into the graph editor and right click and select edit speed graph. Select this point and drag the handle holding shift like so and drag this handle to all the way up to the right like so so now we have something like this okay then select our second adjustment layer add the transform effect and the motion tile also so i'll add the motion tile and the transform mirrored edges set this to 300 by 300 and then go add two seconds create a keyframe on the position Go right here and drag this like so. Maybe somewhere around there. So now we have something like this. Let's press U so we can see the keyframes. Select them. Press F9 to easy ease them or right click keyframe assistant easy ease. Go into the graph again. Make sure you right click and select edit speed graph. Drag this handle to the left like so and this one as well. So now we have something like this. A very nice and subtle transition. Now before we proceed further with this tutorial, I just want to take a minute and talk about this amazing tool for After Effects called Mobar, a simple and efficient toolbar designed to make your work in After Effects easier and faster. And it comes with over 130 ready to use tools. You can access all the tools you need in one place. Mobar lets you customize everything to suit your preferences. You can choose which buttons, scripts, effects and presets you want to display on your toolbar. 
With its user-friendly interface, you'll save valuable time. But the best part, Mobar is on a great deal. Valued at over $300, you can get it for just $59 right now. And it includes unlimited free updates for life. Hurry up, it's currently 25% off until 11th of August. Even if you miss the sale, you can still get a 10% discount by using my code DOPEMOTIONS. Check out the description for more details and try Mobar for free today and boost your productivity. Now let's get back to the tutorial. So that is looking good. Now to make it look even more complex, what I'll do is go into the shape layer and let's add an ellipse. By the way, you can add any shape that you want. I'm going to double click to add an ellipse. Go into ellipse one and hold alt and double click on the link tool. So it's going to create a perfect circle and bring that down like so. Then we need to convert the shape layer into an adjustment layer. So make sure to just turn on this button. So this is going to change the shape layer into an adjustment layer. And then I'll go to it one second and split this. So control shift D. And then what I want to do is add the transform effect on top of this. And I'm going to reverse the animation. So I'll create a keyframe on the position. Go at right over here and let's drag this like so. Something like that. Select the keyframes and easy ease them. Go into the graph editor and add the same exact curve to the keyframe. So as you can see, it's looking very, very nice. Now let's do the same thing with this particular shape layer as well. So let's add a transform, go right over here, create a keyframe on the position, go at the very start and drag this into the opposite direction. Press U select them right click keyframe assistant easy ease go into the graph and let's drag this point like so so there we go there we have this really nice and interesting looking transition it looks kind of optical i think and the best part about this particular transition is that you can move it into any direction that you want you can add a transition maybe happening from the top from the bottom from left right you can even use different shapes so let's see if i want to use a different shape instead of a circle i can go right here i can add a text i can even use a text if i want to so i can maybe add a rectangle directly onto this particular shape so let's create maybe something like that and then we can actually go into contents and turn off the ellipse. So now we have a rectangle, which looks something like that. It looks pretty cool, actually. So it's a really versatile um, transition that you can use it in a number of different ways. So now I can delete uh, this images or simply hide it. And then let's go right here and create a new main comp or render comp. And let's say these are the two images on which I want to add my transitions. I'll place them like so at any point of time. Let's increase the duration to around 10 seconds. Just so that we have a bit more room to play around here. Okay. So let's say these are my two images. You can obviously use footages as well. And then I can add my transition on top. Now in order to find the right cut, what we can do is first of all you can see nothing is happening here because we need to turn on the collapse transformation so make sure whenever you add a transition make sure you add a collapse transformation so this is our cut so what i'm going to do is add a marker right here so i'm going to press m to add a marker right click go into settings and let's type in cut so that we know the cut is happening right here and i will match the cut with our second image so now we have something like this i think it should be right here Okay, so this will help us to identify the cut and let's say if I move my images or footages wherever that I want, I can place my cut or place my transition exactly into the place that we have. So something like this. Pretty simple and easy. So that is how you can create this cool and dynamic looking glass transition inside of After Effects. The possibilities using this technique is endless you can create number of different transitions using this particular effects and techniques so i hope you found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and comment down below you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions and nikhil pavar and if you're feeling generous please do support us on patreon as well with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out